Yo, on the way, on the way up to the clinic, man. Day 62 of legacy pregnancy. We're supposed to be uh, getting her a C-section, man. It's uh, planned for about an hour from now. Uh, we try to do it, I want to do it on day 62. We usually do it on day 61. Bad decision on me, man, bad decision on me. She is now having the litter on the way to the clinic, which is a two hour ride. She started having it a half an hour in, it's an hour and a half. I gotta get to my brother, my brother house first, man. I just wanna make sure everything good. She has one puppy already delivered. She seems to be fine. The puppy seems to be fine. It is actually feeding on her right now as we speak. Uh, I don't know how complicated it was for her to push it out because I just turned around and next thing you know I seen a puppy. So, uh, I'm really, I'm trying to be mindful and want to see, I want to see what's going on and see how difficult it is for her uh, to uh, deliver if she's in a, uh, showing any signs of distress or the puppies are uh, showing any signs of distress. Uh, but it's looking like duh, I gotta make a stop at my brother's house before even going to the uh, clinic because he's like 30, 40 minutes away and then it's another 45 from there to get to the actual clinic. So uh, I gotta make a stop there. Um, I'm thinking she's gonna have at least one or two more puppies on the ground by the time I get to him. Uh, I'm hoping everybody uh, makes it. The first one came out pretty decent. Uh, I, it looks like anyways, don't know, but I do know that it is moving around and actually uh, going for the nipple and, and made it to the nipple. Uh, so uh, she's licking on it, taking care of it. Um, I don't see anything else coming out right now, but man, look, this is crazy. Um, and it's my fault. I definitely should have had a C-section on 61 or did better with the timing uh, with the reverse progesterone. Wait, I haven't done not once. We had three litters without a reverse progesterone. We just timed it on the day, uh, the end of day 61 or the very beginning of day 62. We are now mid day 62 and we actually were supposed to be getting her C-section. Uh, I'm, I'm an hour and a half late, man. Uh, time to too close this time. So, I am, I am on my way. I'm on my way there, I'm on my way there. We're gonna make it happen, man, but it's a wild situation. I think everything is gonna turn out good. I think Legacy definitely has the, uh, she definitely has the uh, weight. And uh, I think she might be able to pull it off, man. I think she might be able to do it. We will see though. But either way it go, I'll be on my way to the clinic after the pit stop, and we'll go from there. So we switch vehicles. Uh, I wanted to be able to see her better and all of that. Uh, make sure she's doing all right, man. Uh, she had delivered one boy, uh, Merle. Uh, that's in here. I don't know if y'all can see him, but I'm trying to shoot it. Uh, he looked to be good. He got on the nipple. He was doing his thing. Uh, so now he's in here asleep. Um, I got Legacy in the back. She's uncomfortable, but it looks like she's about to push another one out. But we are about an hour. Ooh, we about an hour and a half. We about an hour and a half into it, man. So um, she dropped one. She should have dropped another one. I think like every 45 to 60 is like average um, of uh, span in between. Um, you know, I guess it depends on how many they got and uh, the type of breed and and all of that. But not for sure. Don't quote me on that. You know, just from experience, I think you know at least every 45 there should be another one popped out. Um, but um, I'm definitely gonna do the research on that for y'all and possibly post it in this video. Uh, but yeah, we're running over here to the to the clinic. I already talked to the doctor. He's waiting for me to arrive so that he can assess the situation and make sure uh, the rest of the puppies come out alive and um, that legacy is fine. She doesn't appear to be in, like crazy distress to me. It looks like normal uh, labor. It's 
what it appears to be to me. I don't, you know, she she took care of the puppy pretty well. She was on top of it. She did what she had to do. And she looked it pretty calm in the process. Okay, so as far as her nesting, her getting her nesting area together now, she was doing that last night. And usually that's a sign of labor. So um, I should have known she was going into it. I should have gave a call to um, the doctor um, late last night and let him know that I was coming first thing in the morning instead of the time that I was coming. Uh, so that, that's on me. And also doing a reverse progesterone. That should have been done too, but we have not been doing it. We have got three uh, litters on the ground. None of the puppies have died in the process. We got them um, out 61, 62, um, and everything has been fine. Um, I wasn't stressing legacy um, this time because I was like, okay, I'm looking for day 63, but uh, she wasn't, she had a, her first litter was eight. This litter, um, we thinking four to five. So I'm like, okay, it's not gonna be too much on her um, internal, you know, her organs and everything, um, because usually that's what causes them to uh, go into labor earlier, um, is the stress and um, the pressure. So uh, I was thinking that it wasn't gonna be an issue, um, being that she held something a lot bigger than I, I think that she has this time, which we thinking four to five. So. Um, I was totally wrong about that one. Um, stick with day 61 it ha as the key number it seems to be. If you're not going to do the reverse progesterone, um, 61 is probably the day um, to, to, to get them out. Uh, I think she's going to be fine. We're going to go ahead and get the surgery done and um, get her... Uh, good again so she should be fine man i shouldn't have any issues with that because we about 20 minutes away we gonna get it right on the table and uh get this process taken care of hopefully we don't lose a pup in the process um that would really suck um i don't think we will um got a good doctor i think he's gonna knock it out everything's gonna be fine um but definitely a learning lesson here and that is don't play around get your reverse progesterone or do it on day 61 don't do it or and if and if it's a big litter you might want to think about doing it before then don't know can't really tell y'all this is the experience um that being said none of this information i'm not giving y'all no advice i'm just running down my experience so when y'all run into these type of situations y'all can make better decisions um and uh you know y'all don't have to take the uh the the l's that i've took in the process of learning um i, I could have done a lot more research um when it comes to other people and all of that stuff which i have but i'm just winging it off of my experience man so um y'all getting to see it all you know y'all get to see it all here uh i know my girl my baby man that's my baby back there man i can't wait i'm about 20 minutes away she should be fine though and uh yeah, I'm on a way to handle this, man. So, all right, see y'all in a minute. This traffic is crazy. I'm about five minutes away. This so traffic tomorrow, is crazy uh, in the Atlanta so area, do, man. Roughly about three times. No three, games. We trust bring me. Bring out small businesses, different small businesses that. Good. So we are back from the vet. She's all sewed up and back to normal. Well, for the most part, anyways. Um, we got four beautiful puppies here. And three of them are males. And then we have one female. Got the, the other three surgically removed. This Merle right here was the one who came out on his own. Um, but Legacy is fine and all the puppies made it. 
So thanks for my uh my vet. He's always clutch, came through for me. Uh but everybody's good, man. Everybody seemed to be good, so I'm about to get them onto the nipple. I know a lot of people want to see the dogs more often. So, you know, I want to show y'all what's going on with some of the dogs. But right now, um, I'm about to get these dogs on to the milk and make sure that mama's doing good and the pups are doing good. But uh, so far, everybody, everybody seems to be fine. So we made it through another one, y'all. And if my take out of that, if you're not gonna do the reverse uh, progesterone, I would definitely recommend getting them taken out on the 61st day, you know, cause the 62nd is definitely pushing it. And um, that's just from my experience. Somebody else might have better experience where they even had dogs on the 61st day. So, but so far 61 has been a magic number to get them removed without getting the reverse progesterone. Uh, so yeah, everything's good though. Everything is good. Beautiful thing. Blessed.